Did I learn that? Did I study that? Learn and study are two words that are easy to confuse. How about you? In this English lesson, I'm going to help you catch the difference between learn and study. Hey guys, it's Michael here from Happy English, and today I'm going to help you build up your vocabulary by talking about the difference between learn and study. First, let's take a look at study. Study is something that you do. When you study, you use tools like a textbook or a classroom or YouTube. And you use these tools to study to get the information into your head. You study because you want to get knowledge about something. I've been studying Japanese for over 25 years. My friend Jack is studying to become a doctor. Jenny is studying the lines for her next movie. On the other hand, learn is the result of your action. You can learn when you study or you can learn by experience. When you learn something, you have it in your head forever. I learned how to cook Italian food from my mom. It's hard to learn all of the things you need to know to become a doctor. A musician needs to learn all the words for all the songs before the performance. Learning talks about the result of an action, like the result of studying or the result of experience. Since learn refers to complete understanding, we usually don't use learn when we talk about wide fields of study. Frank studied philosophy in college. We wouldn't say that Frank learned philosophy in college because you can't learn everything about philosophy in four years of going to college, but certainly Frank studied philosophy in college. You can also say that you learn about something. That means that you gain information about that thing. I learned about Ben Franklin when I was in elementary school. Steve learned a lot about desert life when he lived in Africa. And finally, we use learn when we talk about playing a musical instrument. Someday, I want to learn how to play the piano. My friend Mika is learning how to play the saxophone. In summary, study is an active process, and learn is the result of that active process or your experience. I hope you learned a lot in this English lesson. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Remember to leave your comment below, and I'll catch you guys next time right here at Happy English. Catch you later.